Greetings YouTube viewers and welcome to another video on the Ian Bullock channel. We find ourselves today in the garden at Bullock Towers here in central Norwich, Norfolk, England. It is Monday the 12th of September 2020. The garden I'm afraid at the moment is looking a little bit autumnal after a very hot and long summer. And the reason I'm videoing this today is because we've gone out today and bought ourselves a rose, which is a little bit unusual for us. We've never really had roses in any of our gardens before, so this is a new venture for us. Uh, but the rose that we've bought today from Notcuts Garden Centre is called You're Beautiful. I was going to sing that song to you, but I think it might be in breach of copyright from James Blunt, so I won't inflict that on you. But the rose is You're Beautiful, and it says down there, excellent in most conditions, Adorable pink shaded blooms, 85 by 85 centimetres, light fragrance. So I think that the rose has cost us £18, the pot has cost £27. And uh, so that's a £45 investment for Bullock Towers. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is plant it up in the pot this afternoon and then uh, do a little sort of time lapse video in the weeks and months ahead to see whether or not the rose survives and then uh, see whether we can record it growing at its different stages so we've got the pot we've got the rose i've got some compost and away we go right so as you can see the rose your beautiful is now in its uh, gray pot and uh, just a question now seeing how it goes through the winter whether or not it's a success in the spring or whether it just fizzles out and this will all have been a little bit of a waste of money. But anyway, it uh, looks like it might be a nice rose. It's this kind of cerise colour, which looks as like if it could be quite attractive. Now I've put it in with some compost and also mixed in some uh, fish blood and bone meal, I think it is, just to try and fertilise it. And I think probably uh, if you're a Norfolk gardener or someone with some gardening knowledge, You'd probably say one of three things. One of them is uh, that old part that you see, that's too big. That's too big for that tiny little old rose. That won't know where it is. That'll get lost in that great big old part. Or you might say, that rose, that's never going to survive in that part. That needs to be in the garden. That needs to be in the flower bed. Um, and the other thing that you might say is, you see them roses, they don't like the frost, young man. They don't like the frost. That'll, that'll die first winter, that will. That's as soon as that see a touch of frost, that rose will be gone. So uh, apologies for the bad Norfolk accent. Um, but I think it's just a question really of seeing how we get on with it, whether or not it survives, and then hopefully uh, recording it when I next feel that there's something to be said. At the moment, as you can see, it's just this kind of, do they call it the stock? It's just uh, a few branches, really, with what I hope are tiny little buds on them, which uh, hopefully will start growing into a kind of rose bush. And if it says 85 centimetres, um, that's sort of just under a metre, isn't it? So it could be a sort of three foot high, beautiful, rose in a pot or it could just be in, uh, end up being thrown away with all the garden waste and written off as one of the Bullock Towers gardening disasters. Okay so it's Tuesday the 13th of October. I got slightly cut off at the end of that video because the phone battery died but um, I was trying to explain that the problem with this rose will either be that it gets frost damage or that the pot is too big, or that the pot is too small. Um, but I think we're just going to have to see how it goes. Hopefully these little bud things that are on it, I hope you can see those little buds will uh, come through. And um, maybe when I'm videoing it in the new year, 2021, we'll uh, see whether or not it's grown into a beautiful rose bush. That's it from Bullock Towers for the moment, with the Your Beautiful Pink Rose. Well, hello again, YouTube viewers. It is uh, Friday the 6th of November, 2020, and I'm recording the rose again today because as you can see, we have these lovely, healthy 
green shoots coming through, which is a new development since I last filmed. Uh, shoots on pretty much all the stems now, including even that little one. So uh, that's all good healthy growth and very promising. I think in the first of these videos I said that it was uh, the 12th of September, in fact it was the 12th of October. So all of these videos so far have been October and November 2020. Uh, we've just entered the second national lockdown for the coronavirus pandemic and that's going to go on throughout all of November through to early December. But I'll keep videoing the rose as it develops. Certainly there's some healthy growth there. So it's looking promising for the months ahead. This is the Your Beautiful Rose in Norwich, Norfolk, England. And here we are again, folks. Now it is Monday, the 16th of November. And as you can see, there's some pretty healthy growth going on on the various stems of the rose, including that little bit at the back and some nice growth coming through so all looking pretty healthy at the moment that's the rose in Norwich in November 2020 so it's Friday December the 25th 2020 and that means Merry Christmas it's Christmas Day three o'clock in the afternoon and I thought I'd just video the rose now because there is so much lovely growth and green leaves on it. It's looking great at the moment, it's survived the cold weather so far. So Merry Christmas and we'll return to the rose in early 2021. It's now Sunday the 21st of February 2021 and it's uh, eight weeks believe it or not since I last videoed which I think was Christmas Day afternoon. Uh, we're now uh, towards the end of February and as you can see signs of spring have started to arrive here in the garden at Bullock Towers. These little mini daffodils, Narcissi, tete tet I think they're called, are looking rather lovely and it's about 16 centigrade and sunny uh, which is unusual for February uh, particularly considering um, from the 7th to the 14th of February this year we had some terrible terrible snow which went on for uh, well well over a week really and settled for quite a long time with some treacherous ice but uh, as you can see the rose and actually these pots of daffodils all came indoors during that period into the conservatory and the rose is now back out in the garden we wanted to just protect it from that very very uh, severe week of snowy weather but as you can see, a lot of green growth now coming through for the spring. Uh, it didn't sit out in the snow. A lot of the other plants got covered, but uh, I think it's doing well. So signs of spring in the garden now. And uh, I'll do another little video in a few weeks time and see where we are with the Your Beautiful Pink Rose. This is just a quickie really, it's Thursday, March the 25th, 2021, so we're about another month on since the last clip. The mini daffodils have now burnt themselves out, but we have in their place now this rather lovely little pot of colourful hyacinths that are coming through in the warmer weather. And the rose itself, as you can see, has got quite a lot more height on it than it had last time. So very bushy, seems to be growing very healthily and uh, we'll see how things develop over the next few weeks. The clocks are due to go forward this weekend and so uh, we're getting into spring and summer. So it is May Day, Bank Holiday Monday, May the 3rd, 2021. Uh, we've skipped the whole of April uh, since the last video which was March the 25th and we've had about five and a half weeks and in that time as you can see the rose has really almost doubled in height I'd say a huge amount of growth on it now and if you look down the back here you'll see that the sign which used to be quite clear to see is now buried behind uh, the growth that we've had so yeah it's getting really quite tall now the decking has been restained since I last videoed 
and uh, it'll be interesting to see now whether or not we're, we'll start to get some kind of buds or something on it. But yeah, a lot of growth, it's doing very well, it's come on a long way and as I say it's now the start of May 2021 and we're sort of coming out of lockdown now and hoping to resume all our activities by June. So the pandemic is still with us but a lot of us have now had vaccinations and looking forward to summer. It's Sunday May the 16th today so we're about a fortnight on from the last video and the reason I'm filming this is because I just wanted to show you these we appear to have these buds now on several of the stems of the rose including down here and at the back um, at first I thought that they were little groups of leaves but I'm pretty certain they are the buds of what we're hoping will be those beautiful pink roses so that's promising uh, mid-May uh, tomorrow is a special date May the 17th because it's the next stage in the government's unlocking of the lockdown the road map as they call it and as of tomorrow people will be able to go into each other's houses and most importantly um, places like pubs and cafes and restaurants will be able to serve food and drink inside uh, rather than outdoor tables which has been very very difficult during the run of rainy weather that we've had so that's an important date so we're getting there bit by bit um, but as I say as far as my rose is concerned we do have these buds and maybe in the next uh, week or so we'll see some actual roses developing and uh, I'll do another video then just to show you what's happening so May the 16th 2021 so it's Tuesday June the 1st today and uh, it's about just over a fortnight on from the last video and we are now into June and um, the rose is still going as you can see and these are definitely buds now um, they've not opened yet but I thought I'd just video now because they are really on the verge of opening I think in fact if you look here um, you can see just behind here I think that is what looks like the beginnings of a pink row is about to bloom and actually loads and loads of flower buds on here I've, I've counted 40 or possibly more on each of the stems there's uh, a lot of buds about to flower at the back down the bottom there probably need to move the rose away from this other plant actually it needs a bit of water as well because we're going through a bit of a warm spell at the moment the temperatures have really gone up and um, today is another important day really, it's the first day of June but also today apparently there's been zero deaths from Covid-19 in the UK today, the first time that that's happened since last March at the very beginning of the pandemic and on Friday I'm due to have my second uh, vaccination AstraZeneca and then I'll be fully vaccinated so we're making progress and we'll have to see how things go so I'll video the rose again hopefully once we have some blooms and these buds start to open it's Monday June the 7th today 2021 about a week on from when I last videoed and as you can see hurrah we finally have what appear to be rose flowers on the rose uh, I'm not sure the colour is reproducing terribly well on this video but as you can see this bud uh, now appears to have started to open this one has progressed a little bit further over the back and I'm hoping if I just go in close enough there you'll begin to see some colour or the correct colour reproduced on the video that one's opening well as well there's one over the back there as well a lot of uh, buds on the rose. I've just spun it round slightly because it was drooping slightly and I also think we have a little bit of a, an aphid problem possibly. So slightly disappointed at the moment with the colour of the roses because uh, I don't know if you look at the, the description card there that looks like a very a striking cerisi pink colour and at the minute <laughs> the roses seem to be a kind of pale blushy pink salmon-y colour. Let's just have another go with it, see if I can get the colour 
Yeah, it might, it might, it might go into that uh, cerisi colour, but we're not. Maybe it's a late developer. Not sure. Anyway, I'll video it again when more of the uh, roses have opened, the rose flowers have opened, and uh, we'll see whether the colour is what it says on the card. So it's June the 7th, and I'll video again once we get a few more flowers. Hello YouTube viewers. Okay, so it is uh, Thursday the 10th of June, and it's three days on since the last video, about half past seven in the morning. We've had a run of hot weather uh, recently, and uh, you can see the garden is looking a lot more summery than uh, when I first started these videos in October, eight months ago. So I'm just going to take you down the garden. The sun is rising. We've got a new addition here to the garden, which are these pretty little pots with uh, pansies in them. I'm gonna take you over and show you where we are with the rose. This is uh, just my wife. Hello, my wife waving through the window. And uh, so if we come over here to the, well, this is our decking area here. And uh, we've got a few pot plants and an insect hotel, which is a new addition. But I'll show you the rose because there has been a little bit more progress uh, with the flowers. The sun is still slightly bleaching the colours, but as you can see, the roses are really, really pretty, but they are not that, as far as I can tell. Now, there's two things I'm wondering about this. One is that um, this is what it is. This is what the rose is meant to be, and that whoever printed this label went a bit berserk with the colour enhancement or the colour calibration on that uh, the print of that rose or whether at some point at the garden centre someone switched uh, the labels around by accident or they fell on the floor or something. Um, I was looking back at the first video actually in October and I can see that the that little sign was clipped onto the pot, I think fairly securely, but I don't know, maybe things got muddled up, maybe these roses have yet to uh, darken down in colour. That's what they are, I mean they are a beautiful, beautiful rose you're beautiful as they're called but to show you this one here the camera actually the iPhone is uh, darkening down that color because it's a lot lighter in real life it's more kind of that sort of color it's a kind of blushy peach uh, not peach blushy pinky color uh, but the camera I think is struggling to quite capture the the uh, sort of delicacy of that shade um, because the the iPhone always wants to correct the colour, but yeah, that is the um, that's the rose. There's several more buds on each stem, as you can see. It's got a fairly good height, and I think it's doing well. But uh, certainly not quite not quite this, which I think is definitely a kind of uh, cerisi, deep cerisi, almost like flamingo pink colour. So it's not that, but I'll video it again when it's really in full bloom and then I think we'll probably call it a day with the time-lapse video. Um, it might be one where I have to contact Mattox of uh, Roses of Distinction or Not Cuts, the garden centre where I bought it, just see whether it is quite what it says it is. Um, but that's something we can think about. So that's it, it's uh, June the 10th, 2021, and this is the Your Beautiful Rose coming into flower. It's the 10th of June again, the same day as my last video clip and I'm at Not Cuts Garden Centre here in Norwich and I've got something very interesting to show to you here. If you come round to the rose section, Mattox Roses of Distinction, I found something. This is where we got the Your Beautiful Rose from actually. And here we have it, look. You're beautiful and look at the colour of it. Now I know that that uh, rose is kind of on the way out, but that looks very similar to me. And there's another one here, um, which looks like that. So I think that kind of answers that question really. I, I suspect that when they printed up these labels, they kind of oversaturated the colour on the 
the photo printing so yeah I think that is going to be the colour so I'm not sure it's something that really we need to raise but interesting anyway as I said in the last video it's a very pretty colour but um, it's not quite uh, what it said on the card they have got some lovely roses here actually and I think the lesson to be learnt is that uh, if you're buying a rose always have a look at it you know when it's in bloom before actually buying it I rather like this yellow one here but yeah some lovely roses and our one is lovely but um, not quite that cerise colour that we thought it was going to be it's Saturday June the 12th today two days on from the last clip and if you've got this far into the video thank you so much for sticking with me since last October I think this is now the final stage in the time-lapse video and as you can see the rose is really unfurling its petals nicely now and I think we've probably reached the final stages now of recording it for this YouTube video there's another stem down here so this is what it looks like two stems together really really pretty um, it's got a little bit sort of lean and leggy and it's lolloping over a little bit over the back here and at the sides I wonder whether I should have put some cane stakes or something in to hold it all up but I think this is really the finished effect of what the rose is meant to be probably is about 85 centimeters by 85 centimeters uh, wide high and wide which is what it said on the label when I uh, planted it last October so yeah very very attractive but that is it now, I think, for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with us. And I'll now upload this to YouTube. So this is the Your Beautiful Pink Rose in Norwich, Norfolk, England, in the United Kingdom.